Hey everyone, it's Belzine. In today's video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial, or eyeshadow tutorial, I should say, because I already have the rest of my face done. The Oma Beauty Allure Black Magic Palette, which is the green, grungy toned one. I used, I think, the blue and red one, which I think, if I remember correctly, is Savage. I used the Savage palette in the last video. So we're going to use um, Allure today. I'm in the green mood at the moment, so that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer, and we'll start actually applying the eyeshadow. <laughs> Alright, you guys are zoomed in a little bit more. Let me use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden as my base for the look. I have uh, used these palettes quite a bit since the last time I did a video because I did first impressions on the brand when it came to Ulta and then I did three looks using each palette on my blog didn't film any of those looks and then I've been using it on my own but just haven't been posting like any looks or anything with it um, after that so yeah, I haven't done anything with the palettes like on YouTube or my blog, but I have been kind of taking a break from my blog too, so there's that. Alright, I'm going to use a Morphe brush that's kind of got like this domey tip at the end. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Unsum, which is this yellow here. I'm in the mood for a cut crease moment today, so we're just going to do kind of a yellow in the front here. I'm going to take that down as well. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. Um, just to save on some time. Alright, so we got that yellow there. I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm just going to, in the middle, uh, clean it off using this guy. Which I got on Amazon. I don't know what the brand is or anything like that. It's basically just a sponge. That you can just wipe your brushes off and it takes off all the color. Then we go in with Lush, which is this green shade here. In this kind of middle area. And I'll layer up on Sun some more on it, too. Try to take it kind of slow so that way it doesn't skip. I mean, it's skipping a little, but not like you know, I know I can't deal with. For blend. These are very nice for blending. And they're very pigmented. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in with Unsun. That yellow shade. I'm going to marry those two together. Right here. So that way it's got more of a fade. between the colors. There we go, we got the more fade happening here. We're just going to keep adding some more on sun. So I kind of get the vibe we're going for. I'm going to go back in with Lush. I want to keep that deep, rich green in here. And then we go in with a little bit of Opsense, which is this kind of eggplant shade. We're just going to apply that on this outer corner here. Like that. So we kind of get this fade going. I'm just going to grab a little bit more on the sun with Lush because I don't want to lose that blend because I feel like we've lost a little bit of it. There we go. I feel like that's more. Smoked like that. Okay. So now that we got our, our blend 
I'm going to take some of the Stay Woke um, concealer. And just put that there and then look down. That's the best way I can ever get to know where my crease is. And then we just get to have that out with a flat brush. And I will take it a little bit higher than where that spot is because that's where the fold, natural fold in my eye is. So I go a little bit higher, I don't have to worry about transfer. Alright, there we go. I'm not worrying about the outer corner here because I'm basically just going to use more unsun. Not unsun, um, opalescence. Okay, um, next I'm going to go with, I feel like mystical with some allure. I'm going to start with mystical. I'm going to take it on my finger. These are quite glittery and I think this is the best way of applying them. So we got the green sparkly going. I will grab a brush in a moment here and then I'm going to take a lure, a lure on my middle finger. Which this shade is gorgeous. And it's more mystical. Like that. Now we're gonna have an actual an actual flat brush, but I'm gonna do a small one. That's where I'm just gonna go in with some detailing with this glitter. These are not shimmers, these are glitters. Just make sure every part of this is covered. Like so. I'm going to take Lady of Gold, which is a very pretty shimmer shade. It's like the only really true shimmer. On the same brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it. I'm going to take that in the inner corner over top of where I have um, some allure. Just left, so. Alright, now. For the outer corner, I'm going to take that oval shade. I don't know why I can't pronounce it at the moment. I'm just going to buff that in here. And I might grab some Lush as well at some point and add that in too. To buff out this corner. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright, we're going to have Lush. Kind of doing tapping motions. Okay. We'll swirl. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and then we'll be right back. Alright, we have the eyes looking even on the top. Which not sure how I feel about the look. Just throwing it out there. I had this idea. And then I've executed it. I just don't know what to think of it. But we're going to keep going. Um, so I'm going to take the ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner in Electric Daisy. Which is this very bright neon shade. I'm going to put that in my waterline. Just in the mood for... 
a neon moment in there. Even though it doesn't 100% go with the rest of the look. Then I'm going to take NYX Epic Ink Liner and just do a teeny line on top. It's mainly so that way I have some bar to put my lashes when I do them. Alright, next I'm going to take a Luxie 207 medium angled shading brush and some more Unsun. I'm going to squeeze it together. I'm going to take down the lower lash line. I'm actually not going to squeeze it. We're just going to do this. Just kind of as a base for what's to come. Yeah, I'm doing way more than I probably should. Alright, then we take go back in with that first brush that we've been using with Lush, that green shade. We're just gonna run that under the lower lash line. I keep it just on the tip so that way it's more controlled. Alright, then I'm gonna go in with that opalescence shade and just do the outer corner with that. Okay, I'm starting to like the look again. <laughs> I know, I got to a point where I was kind of like, I don't know what I think about this look. I'm back to liking it. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, that just really made me just like it again. Alright, let me go back in with Lady of Gold. And we're just going to layer that on top. Kind of bring it inwards. Here. Just to kind of keep that gold light greeny color kind of consistent throughout the look I need to sneeze <laughs> it, it, it right there okay there we go right, I'm just gonna do that up here this is more just gonna fall out real quick because there were was a little bit of fallout but not thinking that maybe just having it you want her won't fix all right Lashes time. We're gonna do Essence, Volume Stylist, Curl and Hold Mascara. Alright. Lastly, we're gonna put on lashes and we grab one from the Arizetto Cosmetics. Lash collection, which is what I normally use. And I think I'm gonna go with the shade, well, the shade, the style doll today, which is kind of this peaceyish, peaceyish one here. Though legendary might be good. I'm gonna go legendary, which is this one. A little bit bolder. One of my favorites. And I do have an affiliate link or affiliate code with them. Which is down in the description if you wanted to try some of their lashes. I use these all the time. So, I don't mind having a affiliate link. Code. Code. It's not a link, it's a code. It's a code. It's May 10. You get 10% off. And I really like these. And they um, donate to cancer research. Um, with every purchase of a lash. And I really like these blushes and it goes for a good cause too so 
you know, that's awesome. Oops, I just ripped that straight off my eyes. Whoopsies. Some days I am still not the greatest of putting these on. <laughs> Does it stop me from wearing them all the time? No, I love these. Alright, there's lash one. Let's get lash two on. I do have backups like of all these two. I have like several sets of these. Because I do not want to not have them if I, for some reason, destroy a pair. Because I wear them so much. There we go. Alright, lips. Oh, do I do three lips? I think I'm going to go with a nude. A nude of some type. I'm going to go figure that out and I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. I have on ColourPop um, Ultra Matte Lip in Sunnyside. That went quite well with the look we did with this palette, which was the Oh Beauty Allure Black Magic Palette. We used almost all the shades. If you guys want more looks um, using any of Oma Beauty's palettes or this one in particular, just let me know and I can make that happen. Um, I am using these quite a bit and I do really want to enjoy them. The glitter I don't think is... It's it's a little bit fallouty and can um, take a little bit to work with, but I do like how it looks, so I don't mind it too much and you make tons of different looks using the palettes. Um, I've been playing with these a lot, so yeah, I really like them. Uh, there's one palette I haven't done a video on from Old Beauty on, and that's the Pose palette. So if you want that, just let me know. I will make it happen. I am repeating myself now, so I'm going to go. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a pause up. Subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!